Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Figured I'd take this opportunity. We've got this beautiful night. We do got the cicadas, so if you hear them in the background, I apologize, but not here in my back patio. The kids are out at uh, a little function. Katie's doing some errands. So I uh, decided to pour myself a little Zacapa 23, my go to. And uh, I got this pretty awesome cigar, hand rolled cigar. It was uh, gifted to us by a, uh, a fellow investor and uh, he's out of uh, Miami area so him and his brother hand roll cigars and he gave us a big assortment so that, I thought that was pretty cool and uh, it is very tasty so a uh, big fan anyway I figured uh, I talked about something that I saw today um, Florida man bugs <laughs> so I thought I'd talk to you about something that I saw today and I don't remember if it was Facebook or, or where it was at. I saw it, but it it talked about the advantages of basically paying off your your mortgage. And I'm not here to talk about whether you should or whether you shouldn't pay off your mortgage or anything like that. I think there's advantages to both, and it really depends on your personal financial goals and what is important to you. So. But here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to talk about the way I see a mortgage and what happens when you are debt free and you own that property free and clear. So let's say you will use the same example, one for on the property. We we'll use the same example. So the house is 250,000 and you have a mortgage. So you start out the same mortgage program. Let's say it's me. I'm a military guy. Uh, so I can use a VA so I can get 100% loan to value, right? So I can get 100% of that property financed. So I have two options. I can get in there. Well, I have three. I can get in there and pay it off, just use cash, right? I can just use cash and pay off 250000 and not get a loan at all. If I don't have two hundred and fifty, I can take a loan and have it amortized over 30 years or 15 or whatever and make a mortgage payment. Or I can do a combo where I get a mortgage and then I pay it off in big chunks like you see a lot of guys do it pay 20 let's just say it's twenty five thousand a year just just for this example so that would be 10 years I, I know there's principal getting paid down as you're paying your mortgage but let's just say we we pay it down over over 10 years so we basically net paying off the twenty five thousand dollars of the principal whatever that amount amount is plus the interest throughout the year maybe it's thirty thousand maybe it's thirty five but at the end of the day we're paying off twenty five thousand dollars of principal just the apples to apples, okay? So, if we pay off the mortgage with cash, we have no debt. We, I'm, I'm also assuming we have like no debt anywhere else or any credit cards, but we have no debt. And we've got a house that's free and clear. And let's say that mortgage is, is $1,500 a month for me taking it out with a 30 year note and amortized. Uh, or or uh, fully amortized with 100% loan to value. So I'm saving 1500 bucks a month by not making that, having to make that mortgage payment, right? Wrong, right? And anybody, anybody who's who's smart and has kind of has bought and sold real estate before and owned it for a long period of time knows that what am I forgetting about out of, out of that 1500 bucks? Taxes and insurance, right? You can have a property that's free and clear and not have insurance. You have no mortgage company to make you get it. However, you are essentially self-insured, which is really not a thing. And you have to have $250,000 or more set aside somewhere in order to pay for your house in the event that it gets knocked down or burnt or whatever. So you're basically tying up $250,000 regardless, whether it's tied up in your house in the form of equity or whether it's tied up in a bank account somewhere in the form of insurance. So I would, you know, I would recommend not going uninsured on a property. I don't think most people do, but some do. Uh, and we do buy properties for people who are uninsured and things happen. So definitely recommend doing that. But the other thing that we have is taxes. And people who are big on paying off your mortgage are always big. The big thing they say is I want to own my house free and clear and I don't owe anything to anybody, but that's wrong because you always owe the government. The government charges you 
every year to live in the property that you paid for. Whether it's free and clear or whether you have a mortgage on it. Nobody ever owns their property. Not you, not me, not anybody. Nobody actually owns their property. We essentially own the home, but the land that we are on and a number, a nominal number, of course, by assessed by the uh, local assessor of that house is paid to the government every year. And if you don't, it's going to go to a tax auction and a guy like me is going to go buy it for a really cheap price. So pay your taxes. So of that $1,500 that you think you're saving, you're really only saving about 1000 right? Because let's say $500 for insurance and taxes and wherever you live and what you, you know, so that, that could change. But let's say it's a thousand bucks, $500 for insur or insurance and taxes. So I'm saving a thousand bucks a month, but I've got 250,000 tied up into my house, which year over year, that's a little bit less than 5%, shade under 5%. So my essential return, because it's going to take me, you know, uh, 250 months to get that 250,000 back in the form of saving a thousand bucks a month. Does that make sense? Hopefully track it. So let's go to the other situation. What happens if I have a hundred percent loan to value and it's amortized over 30 years? Well, I've still got to pay 1500 bucks a month, but remember 500 of that, I was going to have to pay regardless. So really I'm paying a thousand bucks a month. So instead of chunking that money into the property and pay $25,000 of that principal down each year, I go ahead and I take that money and I invest it into something. Whether I go buy real estate or I buy some type of stock that I'm knowledgeable about or, or something. I give out a loan for somebody and I make 10%. And I use 10% just for an easy number, <clears throat> but 10% is easy. You know, some people might not think it is, but... In real estate, you can make 15, 20, 30 percent easy. Uh, I don't think I don't mean that it's easy to do, but that's a very it's, it's a very common investment amount uh, or return amount. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so I'm making 10 percent. I'm making twenty five hundred bucks a year on my money. And I've still got that. I've got another type of asset, right? So if I have the house paid free and clear, it's going to take me two years just to get $25,000. And it's actually only $24,000, right? $1,000 a month for 25 months is 25 months. It's just over two years. I have that now in year one and I'm making 2,500 bucks. And then I compound that. And over time, that's going to be a lot of money. So if I'm, let's just say I'm making 10% and I'm spending it, so I'm not compounding it, but that's still a net difference of 5%. By paying it off versus keeping it. The other thing is I'm only paying two and a half percent on that money. So I'm really making seven and a half percent extra. So I'm taking that money that could be used to pay off my principal and I'm making 10% on it when I would only be paying at two and a half percent, which is what mortgage rates are at right now. Some people are higher, some people are lower. I've seen two and a quarter percent. So it could be better, but two and a half percent. So I just don't see the advantage to me, in my business and in my life, to pay off a mortgage. Um, but if you feel comfortable paying off your mortgage and that makes you feel better, uh, more you know, stable, whatever, then you do you, man. Uh, you know, you got to do that. And, and if, you know, um, it's just make sure if you're going to do something, don't do it because somebody says pay off your mortgage, be debt free. Don't owe anybody anything because we always owe the government. They always own us. They own the property, right? They own the property. You just get to live there and you pay them for that every year. So don't, don't ever think you don't own it. So is it really worth paying it off? I look at it as an investment. I'm paying two and a half percent for that money and I'm making 10% on it. I'm making a net of seven and a half percent a year. And to me, it's a no brainer. So Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm curious to see what your guys' takes are because I know there's different ends of the spectrum. I respect your opinion and your decision to do what you want to do. I just want to understand why people do what they do, and, and I think other people are interested as well. Um, please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more stuff like this. I know it's getting dark. Hopefully you can see me. Uh, I'm going to enjoy all the lights are going on in our yard. I'll tell you what, see if you can see this.
Check it out what Katie did here. Look at that. Look at those lights. That pool, man. Yeah, we love this place. <laughs> we love it, but I'm never paying it off. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I uh, hope you all have a good night as well. Good day, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. Um, next video coming out is going to be in the same line. We're going to be talking about debt and whether you should have any or whether you shouldn't have any. And uh, talking about a, uh, a big proponent uh, or a big uh, advocate that a lot of us know uh, for being debt free and, and why I, uh, I agree or disagree with uh, what he has to say about the matter. So I think you'll like it. I think it's going to be entertaining to see the comments. Please comment. I want to see them and go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I want you guys all to be getting these videos when they come out. And I, I really want you guys to get involved. This isn't a, uh, an entertainment show. This is a, a place where we can learn and grow and become better uh, investors, better entrepreneurs, better husbands, wives, sisters, brothers, and uh, parents and all that stuff, right? So uh, thanks for joining and cheers, guys. Have a good night.